call that bluff. Call that bluff. So when I first moved to Atlanta, me and the guy who signed my kids' birth certificate were going back and forth about full custody. Um, he wanted full custody because he wanted me to pay him child support. And I wanted full custody because I knew I wasn't moving back to Memphis. I just, I knew I wasn't. Um, and because he was abusive in a relationship, I really was just trying to make sure I could get away. And I knew the only way I could get away and not have to really deal with him is if I had full custody. That's what I was thinking. So we're going back and forth and um, I lose my job. I called him to say, hey, I lost my job. So um, can you send me some extra money? Cause I got to get a hotel. Cause I was doing a live in nanny. He was like, nah, I ain't sending you nothing. You just need to move back to Memphis. I don't know why you thought it was a good idea to move to Atlanta anyway, hung up the phone. I was like, F that, I ain't moving back. So um, I was staying in hotels. Um, I was staying in a few of my friends' houses. Me and the kids were sleeping on the floor. And um, I was still going to Memphis because we were still having court dates for the custody stuff. So we had a court date coming up. And I had talked to my attorney. And my attorney was like, hey, his attorney is fighting for full custody because you're homeless. And I was like, huh? And they was like, yeah. He said that you called him crying, saying that you were sleeping outside on, in a park or something like that. I was like, who said? I, I said I was sleeping in my truck. I ain't never say in the park. We were sleeping in the truck. And we was at Walmart parking lot. Because that's a safe place and you can sleep there overnight in the parking lot. And so, I was like, wow, I never forget that. And my attorney was like, look, I know you're having a hard time. So, maybe it will be better if he kept the kids for at least six months. And then, you you know, get yourself on your feet. He was a black man and I cried so hard, but he said, Queen, you got to put your ego to side and think about your kids. And it really hit me hard. And I was like, I really got to do this. And um, he was like, I got it. He even told me, I'm going to finish your case for free because you got enough going on. So... We get everything together, and the day that we go to court, um, we, they were running late. And then the guy who signed my kid's birth certificate, his attorney came in and was like, said something to my attorney, and my attorney was like, so he ain't going to show up. The day that they tell him he got full custody, and the day he finds out how much child support you have to pay him, so he really didn't want the kids. He just wanted you to move back. And since you said no, he ain't come to court that day. He told his attorney he really was just trying to make me move back home. He didn't want the kids for real. 